Today I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful PowerPoint presentation in just a few steps. First, you need to find a background you like, preferably something that's a little bit blurred. Once you've found your background image and downloaded it to your computer, right-click the slide and select Format Background. Select Picture Fill and insert the image you downloaded. Insert the PNG background images you want to use in the slide and place them accordingly. Then insert a text box and write your welcome message. Lastly, insert a rectangle and set it to no fill and make the outline white. Insert another rectangle and place it inside the loading bar. Duplicate the current slide. Stretch the rectangle to the other side of the bar in the new slide then apply the morph transition. Select both slides, go to Transitions and pick Morph. Duplicate the slide one more time. This will be the slide where we create our workspace with all the icons. You can change the position of the background image between the slides to create more layers to the transition. Remove everything except for the background image from the last slide. Now it's time to insert some objects. Insert a rectangle and adjust the size to your liking and remove the fill. Set the outline to white and set the background to the slide's background. Add a bit of shadow and reflection to the object. Copy the rectangle multiple times and place the shapes all over the slide. Adjust their size and shape. You can insert icons to further improve the look of your slides by going to the Insert tab and clicking Icons, Search for the icons you want and insert them into the slide. Place the icons in the rectangles and insert text boxes. You can make boxes for anything you'd like and insert any icons. Here's what mine ended up looking like when I was done. Duplicate the slide and move some of the objects out of the slide. These items will slide out of the screen later. Any item you want to slide into the screen must be placed outside of the slide on the first slide and inside on the second. Because I want this rectangle to slide in, I placed it under the slide on the first slide and inside the slide on the second. When we apply the morph transition the objects will move smoothly. Here's the final result. <laughs>